What's going on everybody? I appreciate you checking out the channel. This is Bam Bam Outdoors. I'm going to take you along on all my adventures of hunting, fishing, survival, you name it. It's going to be a pretty cool channel, pretty interesting. If you like what you see, you like the content, hit that like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, try to get, uh, you know, at least 100 likes within the first week. That'd be nice. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the family and everybody who uh, supports me along the way. Thanks. So we came out here to hang out some bush lines or some limb lines, uh, try to get some catfish while we were doing a little bit of fishing. I'm going to kind of go through the process and tell you guys how we do it. So what I do is I take an 80 pound braided line with a steel leader on the end and I usually do a number 8 circle hook. Works really well for catfish, bowfin, uh, and then sometimes we'll get the occasional alligator or something like a uh, a bass it just depends but usually i'll put mullet on there um, they'll be live or dead it kind of doesn't matter in this area there's mullet everywhere and sure enough as soon as we set out some bush lines kind of on the way back we were checking them and uh, we got this big big boy right here uh, this is a bowfin now I, I typically don't eat bowfin i know you can um, but you just got to process them a little different but usually we'll get some pretty big bowfin out here. It took me a while to get the hook out. Um, for some reason, he swallowed that big giant circle hook. But this was a this was a pretty stout bowfin. Usually we'll come up on these limb lines, and you'll see the line just kind of dragging underneath the water. And uh, man, I've caught everything from gators to bowfin to catfish to alligators to even uh, big giant soft shell turtles. Can you put your pole behind you in the hole? another video right now. <laughs> oh my. He's huge. And look at those scales. 
He looks prehistoric too. Like Do you get really close? He wants to see him, Daddy. I want to see his head too. Oh, he's big. Wow, he's as big as the boat. Don't touch him, baby. Uh -huh. Don't, Don't get him. that close. He's, he's uh. If, is there any way you can lift that tackle box a little bit? Can you see that where his tail is? Mm. Hey everybody, Bam Bam here. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to clean and uh, maybe later cook this gar. So we caught this thing yesterday, it's been on ice. All we did was cut its head off and then gut it. How we gutted it was this. I'm gonna flip it over. We took a some tin snips, because these scales are like really hard. We took a tin snip, went all the way down to the bottom, to the top, and then basically we're gonna fillet them open. Now normally you would go from the top to the bottom, but I want to keep all these scales in this skin. I have a buddy of mine who's going to make some wallets, and uh, his wife makes earrings as well. So um, let's go ahead and get started. The way I was told to clean these is basically you'll follow the skin all the way around. All right, so as you can tell, we cut all the way down, then we cut around the skin here. This right here is coming out where the dorsal fin is. It's nothing but a big bone, so we just left it. Um, like I said, normally we would just cut it from the top down and it's a lot easier. Uh, what you do is you basically take the top of this and you go out to the side to these flaps here and you just avoid these ribs altogether. It's kind of like a big giant deer backstrap. So I'm gonna go underneath here all the way down. Now what you don't want to do is run your knife up against these scales because it will dull your knife in a heartbeat. Go to the other side. You can almost peel it off with your, your hands after a second there. So now it should look like this here should come off like a sheath. And see this white meat right here? You're gonna cut straight down, and then you're gonna L it out, just like a, uh, almost like a deer backstrap would be. And there's some nice fat right here. But this is really good meat. The, the, the color looks really good. Um, I was told the consistency of this meat is kinda like a, uh, an alligator. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. Now that I got the skin off, I'm gonna come down the spine right here, just like I would a deer. Right here, you're gonna rub all, run all the way down these ribs And you should have a nice fillet without any bones once you get to a point. in there look at this white meat look how white that meat is that's some good looking meat all right so after you go all the way down to the ribs you're gonna make like an L motion so just come out with it so you're gonna follow the rib cage all the way down I'm going to get to this point right here where the rib cage is. 
where it meets. And you're going to cut off all these, this, uh, this excess meat right here off of the ribs. So what I'm going to do is just go straight down near the ribs and cut it straight. Now when I flip it back over, I'm still going to have this flap on the bottom that I need to get off. This pink right here, this is like marbling, see all that fat? Back over. So cut it off the ribs. That's not even all of it on one side either. I'm gonna probably shave off that fat here, but all that is just beautiful white meat. I was told that it has a, uh, a consistency of gator, so it's not like real fishy and it doesn't flake, but um, the guy that I talked to said he grilled it and it was really good. So we're gonna try some different things with it. You might fry it, grill it. Um, also heard a guy says he's not gonna smoke it. Hey, if you guys know how to cook these, better than I do, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me, um, tell me how you cook it. See how it goes. All right, everybody. This is the, uh, the moment we've all been waiting for myself, the kids, you guys, uh, the anticipation is kind of killing me. I'm trying to figure out how this gar is going to taste. Um, be patient with me. I'll kind of walk you through the process and uh, what we're actually going to do with this bad boy. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, our gar chunks. I'm going to put it. We made some duck eggs from our farm and made a little hot sauce duck egg concoction. So what we're going to do is soak it in that and then put it in our flour. We're using all purpose flour. And all I did was put some Old Bay and uh, a little bit of garlic powder, some onion powder, and uh, a little bit of salt, and that's it. Mix it all up. Make sure it's coated nicely. All right, then you take them. All right, now we're gonna drop them in our oil. Nice and hot. All right, watch them bad boys cook. All right, moment we've all been waiting for. I'm excited. First, I'm gonna open it up and kind of show you what the meat looks like. See, it doesn't really flake and it kind of reminds me of an alligator a little bit. So, here we go, bottoms up. Mmm. Definitely very, very similar to an alligator. Mmm. Very good. Mild fish. Like a, the consistency is really good. It's almost like eating a, a steak, like a ahi tuna steak really good mmm so gar thumbs up a plus can't wait to catch them again appreciate you guys tuning in um, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and have dinner with the family appreciate it thanks